And finally, if you're finally, if you're heading abroad for some guaranteed sun this summer, a warning that the daily race to grab a sunbed is as fierce as ever. Holidaying Brits have been taking to social media to show the length some tourists are going to across Europe. In some cases, police have become involved. Here's Sam Holder on the Great British Sunbed Battle. It starts at the crack of dawn, an orderly queue before the race to the poolside begins. At resorts across Europe, this is the only way you can now get a sunbed. Some have taken to buying and bringing their own. I ordered a portable sun lounger. Even when there are rules, people are getting around them, as Hannah found out in Malta. They had a sign up that said, um, if there are towels left unattended for 30 minutes, we'll remove them. So I thought, well, that might help with people pre-claiming sunbeds. But then people seem to be getting around that by putting their T-shirts down, putting their belongings down, so not strictly towels. Part of the reason for the intense early morning scrambles may be that hotels bought less stock during the pandemic. There was certainly no lust for loungers with this weather on Brighton Beach, but I asked failed sun seekers here their top tips for nabbing a pool bed. You're up, you're there at seven o'clock in the morning, you get your towel down and you leave again, but... So you've done that? I've, do, I've been there and I've done that, you're yes. Guilty. I am. Uh, we, don't, uh, we don't like that. I hate that. I go to the beach uh, instead. Travel journalist Lisa Francesca Nand comes from the Costa del Sol, one of the fiercest bed battlegrounds. Do you think there needs to be some sort of agreement amongst tourists not to do this. I think absolutely it'd be nice if there could be some sort of gentle person's agreement that we all think, well, actually, we're going to be fair about this sort of thing. But I think maybe hotels need to start to regulate it. And actually, if somebody's left their towel there for a long period of time, chuck it off, chuck their belongings off, put them in a nice little pile nearby. You heard it. This travel expert says you can evict bed hoggers. Just don't hold her to account when they come back. Sam Holder, ITV News. An agreement never going to happen. Uh...